What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about me quitting my retail job five years ago. Yes, it's been five years since I quit my retail job. And honestly, I feel like that was the best decision I have ever made personally because I've had a lot of personal growth over the past five years and I feel a lot better right now. Now, if you guys don't remember, five years ago, I was working at Canadian Tire. I started off working as the automotive uh, in the automotive department, basically stocking shelves. Then I jumped onto the uh, parts counter where I'm uh, answering the calls and I'm looking up parts for people and then I transitioned from there to the service advisor role and the parts and service advisor role because at our location since it's a small town there was no back parts so we did it all and parts and service was combined so if you worked service you would also help out parts if you worked parts you'd also help out service so you'd have to learn both systems and then from there I did also work in the shop as well but it came to a point that the one thing with Canadian Tire Whenever one boss leaves a location and a new boss comes to take over, that new boss, where he previously worked, he can bring anybody that he wants with him. And it turns out he did bring somebody that ended up becoming the new service manager. And he did take all of my hours. Instead of me being full-time at 40 hours, my hours were cut to 10 to 15 hours a week. And that honestly was extremely hard to deal with, having my hours cut like that when I was such a good worker and I loved what I was doing, to now it's not really worth me being there. And I did that for six months. And the hardest part was, in a normal eight hour shift, you have a ton to do, but whenever I was coming in and I was only working a three hour shift and usually the evening where I was just by myself, not only do I still have to answer the phone and get parts for customers and order stuff and do my regular stuff like that, I still have to put stock away and put all the tags up and it's a lot to do in three hours. And I was basically expected to do everything that I normally would do in an eight hour shift, I would do it in a three hour shift. And that just mentally takes a toll on you the longer that that goes on for. So I did it for about six months. Uh, I did have a breaking point. I did get really sick for two weeks and I was off work for that two weeks. The week I was supposed to come back, I came back and they canceled my shifts for the entire week. So not only did I have two weeks unpaid, they did slap another week on there as well as basically an FU. And from that point on, I knew I was gonna quit and I quit that following Friday and I just walked in and quit. And I did explain that in previous videos and a lot of people said, you know, that's not the way to quit. You always give a two weeks notice and I'll be the first to say, you gladly do not have to give a two weeks notice if you don't want to. Now, if you expect to use that place of work as a reference, definitely give a two weeks notice, go out the right way. But if you don't give a shit, you're switching to a different industry or you don't care because you know nobody's gonna give you a good reference, you don't need to give a two weeks notice. For the ones that say they could sue you, most places, honestly aren't even gonna bother because they were gonna replace you regardless, even if you give the two weeks notice. So regardless if you just quit on the spot now or you give a two weeks notice, they still have to find somebody to replace you and most of the time they will not pursue any legal action because they honestly don't give a shit. So that is exactly how I quit and honestly quitting that way, it felt absolutely the best. Like a weight was lifted off my shoulder and I finally quit. After that, as I did mention in previous videos back then, like five years ago, I did take my security guard course and then I did purchase my first vehicle and then after that I did start working at the casino doing security overnights. Now back then I was getting full time hours, now I'm about 24 to 32 hours a week. But back when I was at Canadian Tire, I started off making $10 an hour. By the time I quit, minimum wage in Ontario had jumped up to $14 an hour. Currently what I'm making, with minimum wage being I believe $15 an hour, I'm currently making $25 an hour where I am currently working. So in my opinion, quitting my retail job five years ago to advance and try to get into what I'm doing now was definitely worth it. Was it the right way to quit? not in everybody's eyes, but it felt good doing it. And I didn't put any of them on my resume anyways as a reference because you don't have to. Most places, even if you put them as a work experience, if you're uh, applying somewhere, most places aren't gonna call your former employer. They're gonna call who you have listed as a reference. So I only list people that I trust as a reference. Somebody I worked with at Canadian Tire for that five years that I trusted and still talked to. And then the other two are where I currently work uh, people that are uh, supervisors now that used to be just employees, now they're supervisors. And one of them had recently left, but I still leave them on my resume because we're still kind of close. 
Also, since quitting retail, I have expanded myself. So I do have my reselling business that I work really hard on. Selling everything from video games to comic books. That's kind of my niche, but also other things. And I do sell not only on eBay, but Facebook Marketplace as well. I do ship a ton of stuff uh, and I do have a lot of sales. So I do have some really great years and I do share those videos currently on the channel as my Flipping for Profit series. But since quitting my retail job, not only have I gotten a way better job, but I'm also doing my side hustle on the side along with YouTube, which is starting to pay off as well. So I've done a lot more and I've definitely had a lot of personal growth since quitting my retail job and it did feel good doing that. And the reason that I'm mentioning all of this, not only is it for an update for you guys as what I did for the past five years since I quit my retail job, it's also a reminder to everybody that is working a retail job or a minimum wage job that you don't have to do it forever. You can move on and get some skills and get a higher paying job. It will take some time and it sometimes will take some sacrifices, but it definitely can happen for you. Literally what I did, I quit my job because I was miserable at the time. I was financially stressed. I quit my job. I did my security guard course and then I got a higher paying job. When I started at the casino, I was making $17 an hour and I was driving an hour to work one way. So having all of that, I was basically with that driving distance, I was still likely making about the same I was making at Canadian Tire. But then over the years, getting raises and doing really good at my job and everything else, I'm currently at $25 an hour and there still is annual increases and other increases throughout the year. So it definitely was worth it for me to make that switch, to quit my retail job. And it definitely is worth it for others too if you do want to do something else or just do something else that does make you happier. Sometimes, unfortunately, it does take money to get the skills to be able to get that higher paying job, but it definitely is worth investing in yourself to get to where you want with some kind of financial freedom, whether it's a job that makes more money or for you to be able to do a side hustle a lot more. It is a lot uh, of a better feeling than just working a minimum wage job and just living paycheck to paycheck. I do feel a little bit more financially free now than I did five years ago. And if I didn't make that effort and make that huge jump and take that big risk, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if that makes sense. And this video is not really me trying to brag, look what I've done. It's me trying to give hope to others that they can do it too. If they feel like they're stuck in a minimum wage job and they can't get out or they're stuck at a job they just don't like and they want to do something else, they definitely can do it if they do take that risk. And for me, it did pay off. Now, for some people, it might not pay off, but I'm just happy that it did for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.